What's poppin' internet family? Dan here from danstube.tv and today we are checking out the Mavic 2 Pro. This is my before you buy the Mavic 2 Pro review. I will detail the amazing features and the things that I have disliked or things that I've picked up on. Maybe even just differences from the Mavic Pro 1. So these are basically all of the important things that you need to know about the Mavic Pro 2 before you go in and buy yourself a brand new drone. I will have an Amazon link below to check out the Mavic 2 Pro. They've actually got a really good deal right now. So it's the Mavic 2 Pro with the Fly More Combo and DJI Care Refresh for 1897 US dollars pretty cheap actually that's a pretty good deal so check that out link below the Mavic 2 Pro offers an amazing camera system in a one inch CMOS sensor this is a Hasselblad camera with their amazing color science embedded into this crazy system here the camera itself has adjustable aperture you can shoot 10-bit D log M you also have 10-bit HDR video hyperlapse and a few other really cool features so let's jump into what I have noticed so far since using the Mavic 2 I can confirm that DJ I have fixed all of those issues we had with the original Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro is just phenomenal now. So the first thing they addressed was the focusing system. In the original Mavic Pro, if you didn't tap on the screen to focus, it just would be completely soft and the image just did not look fantastic, had no sharpness to it, no detail and it was just a dodgy image. So now if I don't even tap the screen, it seems to just pick up on the focusing point automatically and now I also have the option for autofocus continuous which I don't really like too much it's decent um, but I'd prefer to just tap it myself or you can actually use the camera button on the controller itself you just one push will focus and then if you do the second push or push a little harder it will take a picture so you have those options there now which is really handy they've also addressed the issues with the gimbal system itself so previously it was just really flimsy and something that you'd have to be quite delicate with now the gimbal system is just a lot more solid Solid, a lot more robust and I just feel a lot more confident moving my drone around and even cleaning the lens itself without worrying about the gimbal system just falling apart. I also feel like the folding mechanism on the Mavic 2 Pro is a lot more robust and reliable this time around. So the front legs feel very similar but the rear legs that flip down just have a more distinct click to them as they just slot into their place. They are definitely a lot more satisfying to fold out and I just feel like they've improved this slightly to give us a little bit more long longevity out of this device. I also started a drone inspired clothing line called eyeintheskyclothing.com and I have some really awesome clothing options on there that I'm really proud of. So check that out, eyeintheskyclothing.com. I'll also have two links below to save 10% on the drone invader design and 10% on the eye in the sky design. Now let's get on to a few other things that I've noticed with the Mavic 2. The first thing is you really need a fast micro SD card. We actually tried a few different high-end high write speed cards and it just for some reason didn't work it had slow SD error I trialed a few more and I finally got the right SD card so just make sure that you actually have a high-end super fast write speed on your micro SD card the plastic dome that you put over the camera when you fold your drone up is okay and it seems to be a slight improvement on the original but it's kind of hard to actually get the camera in and I've noticed it can sometimes scratch the top of the camera so I'm not the biggest fan of that design one of the most underrated features of the Mavic 2 Pro camera is the fact that you can actually angle the camera down and then look to the left or to the right or you can just be looking at the horizon and look completely off to the left and see your drone's legs in the shot it's ridiculous and the fact that you can move almost 90 degrees you can rotate it and you can also tilt pan and do whatever you want with that camera is amazing and it's an underrated feature that they don't harp on about enough it's really useful and it gives you some great perspectives the controller hasn't changed drastically it's very similar to the original, although they've slightly changed the color and they've also added the, or detached, the detachable thumbsticks. So similar to the Mavic Air now, you can unscrew the thumbsticks, tuck them away, and it's a lot more efficient when you are transporting this drone. You also have a switch now on the side to switch between T, P, 
P and S mode. So you've got tripod, the P which is just a standard mode, and then the speed mode or the sports mode. They've changed the design enough so now we don't actually have to unfold the legs to access the micro SD card. So that's really handy. You can literally just flip up the flap, grab your micro SD card, and you can leave your drone completely folded away. I thought that was amazing and something that obviously we wanted for a long time. And they've also added the eight gigabytes of internal storage, which we originally saw on the Mavic Air. And I think it's a great addition just in case you forget your SD card or in case it corrupts for some reason or something happens, you've got the extra eight gigabytes to film internally. The Mavic 2 Pro offers adjustable aperture and you can go from f2.8 to f11. And this honestly gives you so much more freedom and control when you're filming in different environments with completely different lighting conditions. And it's really amazing to have that option on a drone now. It just gives you so much more creative freedom. The original Mavic Pro had a lot of different color options. And with the Mavic 2 Pro, they've limited it down to just three color options. You have D log M, which is the best for dynamic range and is the flattest image so you can play around with it a lot more in post-production. You've got HLG mode and then you've got the normal mode. You can now shoot in H.264 and H.265, but when you're shooting in H.265, that's the only one that you can use for HLG and D log. And then when it comes to normal, you can only use H.264. Now when it comes to our video options, we can shoot in 4K HQ, which is relatively cropped compared to the full field of view, um, but it's the highest quality one that you can go for. It's the pure 10-bit high quality 4K, and you can shoot up to 30 frames per second. A lot of people are expecting 60 frames per second, but we only got 30. But you also have the option to shoot 4K full field of view, which actually gives you the full image. So that kind of gives you two different zoom ranges, which is extremely handy, and the full field of view 4K can shoot up to 30 frames per second. Then you've got 2.7K, which you can film up to the 60 frames per second that everyone loves so much. And then you can shoot 1080p, which is significantly cropped again and you can shoot up to 120 frames per second to give you that true slow motion. The Mavic 2 Pro also offers aperture priority and shutter priority now through the settings. You also have manual settings and the auto settings and aperture priority and shutter priority are new and really handy for people who just don't want to worry about adjusting aperture or shutter, it will just make that the priority and change the values to make the image look right. So that's a really handy feature and it's great for people who just kind of want to play between the four different settings. You also have the option now which I mentioned before where you can half press on the photo button on the actual controller and it will focus. So like you would on most other cameras, you would do a gentle press to focus and then you'd press and hold to get the proper image snapped. So this is a new thing on the Mavic 2 Pro that was not available on the Mavic Pro. DJI have also added a hyperlight photo mode which is just to account for low light situations and it's targeted and tailored for people that want to get some nighttime photography. Uh, the battery itself in the Mavic 2 is definitely not interchangeable with the original Mavic Pro battery uh, and also the motors are a bit larger on the new Mavic 2 Pro. So overall this drone is just beefier, more powerful and with some really cool specs that it has over the original Mavic Pro. I will mention that the menu system is a lot more simplistic than the Mavic Pro. When it comes to the intelligent flight modes they have limited them and like I mentioned the color profiles have been limited and it seems to be tailored more so towards a Pro Pro videographer. So a really cool drone that I am genuinely happy with. So if this video helped then let me know in the comments below. If you have any other comments please let me know below. Thank you so much for watching though. Please make sure to have a splendid day and peace out.